and the office of the president has requested parliament to refrain from sending the human sexual rights and Ghanaian family values commonly referred to as the anti-LGBTQ plus bill to President Akufuado for his assent. The decision according to the secretary to the president, Nana Bedia to Asante, stems from the acknowledgement of two pending applications for an order of interlocutory injunction before the Supreme Court. The application seeks to prevent parliament from sending the bill to the president and to refrain the president from signifying his assent to the bill pending the final determination of the matter. And we have details of the, uh, the, 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 the letter that was written by the secretary to the president, Nana Bedia to Asante, to the clerk of parliament and portions of it uh, talks about the fact that while the president was uh, meeting his uh, cabinet, uh, it came to the attention uh, of this office that while the president and other senior officials of the presidency were at Peduyase for a cabinet retreat on Thursday, uh, 14th March 2024, the, you attempted, and the, this letter is referring to the clerk of parliament, to submit the Human Sexual Rights and Family Values Bill 2024 to the Jubilee House for the president to signify his assent or otherwise to the bill. And it goes on to say that the office is aware of two pending applications for an order of interlocutory injunction, both filed on March 7, 2024, in the Supreme Court in Dr. Amanda Odoi versus the Speaker of Parliament and the Attorney General and Richard Delasky versus the Parliament of Ghana and the Attorney General, respectively. And the, 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 the communication goes on to emphasize the point to refrain you and Parliament from transmitting the bill to the president and also to refrain the president from signifying the assassin to the bill pending the final determination of the matter. And this is the matter that's, that's going to go. The, the Attorney General has, by a letter dated 18th March, informed the president that he has been duly served with both applications and has advised the president not to take any step in relation to the bill until the matter raised by the issues are determined by the Supreme Court of Ghana. And so it, it goes on to make some demands. It says, it is understanding of this office that both the applications have also been duly served on Parliament. Therefore, it will be improper for you to transmit the bill to the President and equally improper for this office to receive the bill until the Supreme Court determines the matters raised in the uh, suit. So uh, this is a letter signed by the Secretary to the President, as and it says, it is settled law that during the pendency of an interlocutory injunction application, the status quo ought to be preserved and no action should be taken that will result in prejudicing the uh, injunctive relief sought and undermining the authority of the court. And for that reason, the president, uh, I mean, they, they ask that the clerk desist from uh, such acts until the final determination of the matter. Now, some members of parliament are unhappy with the posture of the presidency, especially the Tamil South Member of Parliament, Haruna Idrisu. Uh, they say this as an infringement on the independence of the legislature. Listen to Haruna Idrisu makes the point at the news conference in Parliament earlier today. To sleep because this is a monumental threat to Ghana's democracy and a monumental threat to parliament as an institution. By Article 93, we are clothed with legislative authority and legislative mandate. This letter only reflects President Nana Adudankwe's quest of predominance over other organs of state. That is unacceptable, and that must be fought by all persons who love democracy and who cherish the principles and values of the 1992 Constitution. The framers of our Constitution endowed Ghana with separation of powers, the executive, the legislature, the judiciary, division of powers. It endowed us that parliament shall be responsible for lawmaking. President Nana Adudankwa, first of all, Politically, what power does the present secretary have writing to the clerk of parliament and not the present himself 
writing directly to the Speaker of Parliament, as is required of our standing order, so that officially this can be read as communication from the President. So ideally, this paper means nothing and should be ignored by the clerk because communication to parliament must be communication signed by the president addressed to the speaker of parliament as is required of our standing orders, whether old or new. Yes, there is a matter before court, but I'm also a trained lawyer. An attempt to seek an injunction is not the same thing as an injunction. An attempt. I'm seeking an injunction does not operate the same way as an injunction have been so granted by the court, even if it is an interlocutory injunction. But more importantly, parliament cannot be injunct not to perform its lawful function as the legislature of Ghana, clothed under Article 93, responsible for legislation. No organ of state. Subject to the constitution, the judiciary is subject to the constitution, the executive is subject to the constitution, the legislature is subject to the constitution. So it's, it's for good reason that all of them, the constitution says subject to this constitution. The legislative authority is vested in the parliament of Ghana. Now, somebody should help me with the 1992 constitution and open article 106. Then two, the president, cannot by any shred or shadow of authority seek to injunct parliament from exercising our lawful duty and responsibility as the house responsible for law making. Neither the court can injunct parliament not to perform our duties as parliament. The court under article two of the constitution can declare a nullity or a void to the extent that parliament have passed a law which is inconsistent with the constitution. As far as me, I'm concerned, even with my understanding of the law, there is nothing before the court because a bill remains a bill until it's assented to by the president. It is not law. Therefore, as far as I'm concerned, there is nothing before the court that somebody will seek to use that to injunct us from performing our lawful duties. That's why the constitution in Article 106, if those of you who are familiar with it, it reads, the power of parliament to make laws shall be exercised in bills passed by parliament. In bills passed by parliament. So parliament has passed human sexuality bill. Assented to by the president, Article 106. It has not been assented to. So there is no law yet. So whoever is seeking to question the law must show us which law he is referring to. But Article 106 imposes an obligation on President Nana Dudankwa Akufuado as the executive head of the Republic of Ghana. It says that when Parliament passes a bill, Parliament shall remit the bill to the President for assent. That is what this Bediotu letter is seeking to do.